Hello and welcome, my name is Sekura and this is my Let's Play series of Europa Nostalis 4, where we are playing as England. Uh, now unfortunately, uh, the save file from uh, yesterday's videos was corrupted, so I uh, took an autosave and uh, I think we are at approximately the same point as uh, when we left off uh, in the last video. Um, uh, anyway, we, we haven't actually lost any troops that we didn't do sent last time and we haven't taken anything that we didn't take last time, so I think we're at almost the same point. Another thing I want to maintain is I installed this mod called the Tooltip uh, mod, uh, font mod. You might notice that all the tooltips have la much larger font now, which is really nice for when you're using a high resolution uh, screen like uh, I am. Um, so uh, I can definitely... Uh, uh, recommend it. Uh, go check out uh, the the mod in the um, in the um, uh, workshop. The the on Steam. Yeah, do that. Oh, and we can invest in some uh, new technology. I think we uh, got this the last time, but uh, let's just get it again. And uh, I think by now we are probably at almost the same uh, place that we were last time. Hopefully, uh, I haven't kind of gotten anything big that we that we got into last time. We are having a bit of problems with attrition down here. Maybe we should just uh, detach a siege and move up here to Ogas Hus. Move these troops in here. Oh, and we will just destroy the, um, uh, a regiment here in Ogasus. Nice. Winning this war little by little. Crushing the giant of Norway. Oh. Scandal at the court. Sometimes a scandal would erupt in the royal court and would upset a monarch to the point where most diplomatic activity would come to a standstill until things quietly quiet down a bit. You can either take the blame, get a st one stability loss, or you can bribe an advisor uh, to take the blame. And I don't want to lose stability, so I'd, I'd, I'd much rather uh, take a loan. So let's just bribe some advisor to take the blame. Oh, and Denmark is coming with his stack. Maybe we should kind of combine here. Which kind of military technology does Denmark have? They also have military tech seven. Do they have? Do they have trade ideas? So they don't have any advantages over us in military uh, technology right now. Combine these, leave a siege, and then go hunt. We're really unfortunate losing a lot of unnecessary troops in this war. But hopefully, we can uh, eliminate his army now, and uh, then we'll be we'll, then we'll be in the in the safe. Safe spot. And uh, here you can kind of see uh, I was uh, I just made a video about um, how this combat thing works, and um, here you can see we are fighting mountains. So we actually uh, have a very very s uh, small combat width, which means that a lot of our troops are just in uh, reserve. And this can be really nice if you have a smaller army, uh, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Now uh, we have equal tech and equal troops, and uh, probably even have the same type of uh, units. I actually lost that combat. Let's uh, reinforce there then instead. Ok, 
Can we get away? Yeah. I think we don't. We maybe it was just because he has a lead and we don't. Maybe we should actually hire one. We do need to uh, sail a regiment back to uh, the mainland in order to uh, to actually uh, get him in the army. So let's do that. Let's just sail him up here. It don't, don't doesn't need to be our own. Um, own province, it just has to be someone, a province that we control. Now we can get John Hastings here. And let's go and see if we can stop that uh, Danish army. I'll just combine this, uh, all these armies here, and then uh, we'll uh, split off an army to go hunt his army, uh, and the rest will kind of uh, try to siege as much of Norway as possible. So well, let's combine, and let's go create a unit. So we have a lot of cavalry. Let's choose all cavalry that has the highest numbers. Let's just do this like this. And let's do four. Then six. And we'll need a bit more. So let's just take all the cavalry and a couple more regiments. This would be 16,000 troops. Uh, I think he had. Let's take one more infantry and then let's go see if we can uh, hunt us some uh, some Danes. Unfortunately, we are suffering a bit of attrition because it's uh, getting into winter time. But uh, it would really be nice if we could uh, could stop his army. Oh, we are not in war with Sweden, so we can't actually go in th into Sweden. Then, can we get an access? Yeah, we can get a military access to Sweden. They don't count though that much for Denmark, so... Uh, here it is. Oh, he has got 7,000. Maybe I should send these extra men down. Oh, and he even got the leader down. Oh, that's unfortunate. That was a rookie move on my part. I'm probably gonna lose this fight. Oh, I won! No! <sighs> this is getting really ridiculous. But maybe I can destroy his army with this one just because he's all, all out of uh, raw. Finally won, but uh, I lost way more troops than he did. So where he's running? Where is he running to? Uh, let's just do this. Let's see. He he's running to all the way to Holstein, so uh, we don't want to chase him that far. Let's just uh, take the, the small army up back to Ogres Hus, and then uh, let uh, the bigger army go back to Actor and try to recover. You can recover far faster in uh, friendly territory and uh, territory you control. So I could either stay here in Sweden and, uh, and recuperate, or I can go back to a province that I control. I control this because I have occupied it, so it actually counts as one of my own um, own provinces for the purposes of uh, gaining morale and uh, reinforcing. Almost at my mark maximum manpower, which is really nice. How is it looking with the war score? 
Are we able to uh, take what we want yet? We are actually. So uh, this is what I was actually go, go uh, into the war for. I wanted uh, Iceland and I wanted uh, Orkney just because we had a claim on Orkney, so it makes it cheaper. Uh, so in order to uh, enforce this victory, we need to pay 100 diplomatic power, and we will get 41.2 uh, aggressive expansion. Unfortunately, uh, it's only really Norway that gets upset. Uh, Burgundy and France gets a little bit, also I mean Jack Castile and, and so on, but. Uh, 17 aggressive expansion isn't really that bad, and the same. Uh, it's some the, the provinces I've taken are really cheap uh, in 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 over extension because they have little taxes. And but I don't want them for the money; I want them for the colonization. So uh, let's just uh, take this piece and uh, let's uh, go home and recuperate a bit. So. First off, let's all get all our characters back home to Neath. Now this uh, this little black flag here, I didn't explain that in the in my combat tutorial. It will be explained in my next tutorial about um, warfare in general. This means that uh, the unit is in exile, uh, and that means they can't engage in combat. Uh, the only way to get them out of exile is to get them into one of your own home uh, provinces. Then there will be this flag will be removed and they will fight just like normal. Just sail all our troops to London, and then we can divide them out, out there. And it's just we don't need this uh, military access to anymore. It's it's costing us. Uh, it was costing us uh, one of these diplomatic relations. So uh, you don't wanna in the open service TV. You could just have all the military accesses that you want wanted, you, and you didn't really have to kind of um, change them ever. But uh, in the uh, in the uh, in uh, Europa Universalis 4, you really need to take care of uh, all your uh, diplomatic relations, so we don't get too many. Are there too many regiments here? Or? No. How are we doing on trade? Still pulling all the gold down here. Still taking the huge lump here, 13.5 gold. So uh, definitely doing good on income. Uh, right now we are in uh, in negative balance, but that's because we are reinforcing our army. That costs a lot, a lot of extra gold. And I think we do need to uh, to, to buy a couple of extra regiments. Uh, We've lost a lot of troops lately. We're getting uh, far ahead in diplomatic tech. Oh, and we can now buy the next level of administrative technology, which gives us the farmer state. This is a production. Uh, uh, I can show it down here. It's one of these. Maybe better to look. This uh, it's a manufactory, so it improves the the production in the in the um, province. It's uh, they are they are quite expensive, but they can be nice, uh, especially later in the game uh, to improve your trade value and also to get some of the bonuses for uh, dominating uh, production or trade. We'll get some production efficiency. How about? And we have a 10% neighbor bonus, so just let's just buy it now, just to, to get a bit of extra money for our production. So look, look we have uh, 10 cavalry regiments and 20 infantry, so just let's split them in half. Then uh, we'll save, sail one of them out to Ireland. Then we need to build on a bit of extra... Maybe we should just uh, buy a couple of artillery for each.
let's buy a couple of artillery down here. Then save up for a couple more. And how are we looking on... Um, don't think any of the ships need repair, so let's just bump down fleet maintenance all the way. Then we just, uh, I think both... Yeah, the army is also replenished, so just uh, bump down army maintenance too. And we didn't get too much war exhaustion, so that's good. We still have this claim down here in, in, uh, on Calais. So I think the next order of business is still to kind of give, um, get, uh, get that back in a war with Burgundy. But um, first we need to take care of this OA extension and kind of build up our army once again. We did lose a lot of troops in the, in the last two wars. And look, this core only costs 16. Uh, oh, we can't core this actually. Because it's oh, because I I don't have any. Uh, I thought it I just uh, thought it was uh, too far away, but uh, luckily we it's not. So we just need a little bit more of administrative uh, power. We only need 21 for this one, and yeah, 21 for both of them. Oh, and we get the next diplomatic tech, but let's wait at least until we get uh, down to di time ahead uh, one. There's no reason to uh, to get that so far ahead of time. Achieve stability, or should we just should we wait and buy the yellow prestige guy? I think I actually want. I just want to wait and buy his uh, this guy instead, just for the extra administrative points. Uh, I'll take the inflation. I don't want to lose stability. Now we have our first artillery. Really nice. And let's hire this guy. Get some extra prestige and some extra administrative power. What mission were we on? Uh, yeah, we are on a mission to take Picardie. So um, this should be definitely be the next order of business. Let's check out uh, how much army Burgundy is amassed. They are at 46,000 troops, which is quite a lot. I think we uh, we are just above 32. 32. So uh, we kind of need to build up the army if we want to <laughs> win over Burgundy. Uh, we are, we need to get very close to our force limit. Why does Burgundy have so big, big an army? Our relation to France? Maybe we could. Um, it could be nice if we could, if we could get France to help us against uh, against Burgundy. But uh, I don't think I don't think so. Still a three years. I think it actually changes at the New Year's. So. Um, So once again, we are just waiting a bit. We need to make some money so we can uh, build up our military. We have oh, that's one thing you need to uh, be aware of when you uh, get to colonizing and have these provinces far away from the normal shipping lanes. That whenever a, a port isn't uh, or a coastline isn't patrolled for. Uh, for some time, uh, you'll uh, get pirates, and uh, uh, both uh, they, they both give a problem because they blockade the port, but also the provinces take a, a tax hit for having lack of naval patrols. So uh, let's go up and destroy that uh, pirate ship, and then we need to have a, 
uh, ship patrolling up there. Uh, the easiest way to do it is simply to have uh, uh, take one one single trade ship and use that to uh, patrol the trade node, and that will make that will uh, that means that it automatically um, patrols the ar area of the trade zone where you have provinces. So that's uh, actually the easiest way to uh, to make sure that all your your uh, all your provinces have their coastlines patrolled. Um, even when you kind of expand down the coast, uh, uh, the computer will just automatically uh, make sure that all the the coastlines are patrolled. So let's just keep this up here while we um, while we kind of build the uh, build the trade ship for for patrolling. We can get one and uh, no, not that one, this one. Now we get to two year advantage. Uh, yeah, let's. I'm not sure if we can actually uh, wait a whole not, uh, another year, but uh, let's just see. Uh, we don't really need this right now, so let's just try and uh, wait and see what happens. Oh, and we have the points to call this now. But anyway, uh, this video is dragging on, so uh, I'll see you in the next one.